hello, my name is Stacy Clem and I'm a physical therapist. I have worked with babies up to age three for 23 years now. And I'm coming to you to talk to you about why tummy time is so important for your little one. I currently um, work for birth to three and that's a program out there for um, children to help them with their development and to stay on track. You guys have probably heard of birth to three. Some of you may even have babies that are in birth to three, but um, we just go to your home and give you tips on how to keep your baby growing and learning as it should for its age. I also um, participate in cl uh, clinics at Lily's Place. I do developmental assessments there for babies in the kids clinic. And I'm a specialist for babies with NAS. So I'm sure that everyone has heard that they need to put their baby on their tummy, but do you always know why? So we, with the back to sleep pro protocol that we've been using the last few years to help prevent SIDS, we're seeing a lot of developmental delays in our babies because they're not getting the tummy time that they did before. So it's very important to put your babies on their tummy while they're playing so that they can get all of the physical development that they need so that they hit the milestones for their age. Um, it helps to ease torticollis and flat head syndrome. So a lot of babies that are left in swings or bouncy seats or laying on their back a lot, their head becomes flat and you have this flat head syndrome or you get torticollis, which is tightening of the neck muscles where they lay in a swing or in a bouncy seat or something that doesn't so much encourage them to lift their head and move their head from side to side and stretch out those neck muscles and new textures. When babies are on their tummy, they can reach and touch and play and explore versus being on their backs when their arms are back here because gravity pulls their arms back. So they're not getting the chance to touch new textures, to send that information to their brain, to process what they're touching and feeling. So to do tummy time with your newborn, you can place them on your chest or your stomach while you are laying in a recline position in a chair, a bed, or on the floor. You can look them face to face, you can pat their back, and they're a lot more comfortable when they're laying on your tummy. And that's when they're really, really little. You can lay them on your chest. Make those eye contacts, exaggerated facial expressions to really encourage that bonding with your baby. You can keep tummy time short, three to five minutes at a time, but do it at least two to three times a day. The more you can do it, the better. The wonderful goal that we would love to have that's very hard to reach is that they would be on their tummy as much as they are on their back. Because when they're on their back, they develop all the muscles in their neck so they can lift their head up and look around and start to roll over. So as your tummy, your baby, your newborn gets a little bit older, we can progress to more difficult tummy time. At about four to seven months, you can start, we need to start placing your baby on a hard surface, like on the floor, so they can start to scoot around. So rolling is three to four months. So in order to learn that rolling, they need to be on a surface, a hard surface, belly down, that is covered with a soft blanket, not too fluffy, just a, soften the surface a little bit, maybe just like a towel or play mat. You can get in the floor and interact and play with your baby, dangle toys, use a mirror. They love to look at their face in the mirror. You can get down on your tummy as well and get eye to eye and face to face with your tummy. If you, if you need to, you can keep it short, three to five minutes at a time. If your baby's stressed about it or gets upset, just try to increase that time a little bit more. You can use the timer on your phone and just kind of keep track. And then each day, try to increase it a minute. And then your baby, and do this at least two to three times a day, at least, preferably four to five. 
But remember, the goal is to be on your belly as much as you are on your back. And think of all the time that the baby's sleeping on their back. So what do you do if your baby hates tummy time? The more that you keep them off their tummy, the less amount of time that they're on their tummy, the more they're gonna hate it. The more that they experience it and they feel comfortable with it, the more they're gonna enjoy it. Some things that you can do is have colorful toys within reach. Again, get on the floor yourself in a straight line and entertain your baby with a toy or by singing or talking, patting them on the back, talking in a soft voice. Just let them know that you're there and you have them and they're safe. Have someone else entertain them. Do they have siblings? Do they have other family members? Some a pet, something special that they like. You can try sideline position with them laying on their side with a rolled towel to support their back and a washcloth under their head if needed. But you also, when I, I want to take this time to talk about sideline being on your side. If a baby is only on their tummy and only on their back, being on their side is going to be something that feels unnatural to them. So that makes it difficult sometimes to roll. So if a baby resists sideline, they're not gonna roll over because you have to go into sideline to get from the front to the back. So it's super important to lay your baby on its side very early in age two as well. So when you're starting tummy time at three, four weeks old, also do that sideline, roll that towel up and put it on along their back and keep them on their side. You wanna rotate your baby while awake and while you're paying attention and there with your baby, you wanna roll rotate your baby to right side, left side, and lots of tummy time. This will develop the muscles of the core and the trunk. So in order to sit up, we have to have equal muscle strength in the front of the core, the back of the core, and on the right and left sides. And in order to get that strength, you have to lay on each side of your body. So that's why it's so important not to spend too much time on your back and you have enough time in the, on your tummy and on your sides. So you get that equal strength so your baby can sit up, can while he's setting up, he can reach for toys and eventually learn to crawl and stand. It's really hard to stand if your core is not, strength is not equal because you'll fall forward backward or to the left or to the right. So when we talk about all these positions to lay your baby in, the earlier that you can start getting them in all those positions, the sooner that you're gonna get equal strength in the core so they can develop properly. Here's a little video that I got from Pampers and it just gives you some ideas of things to do with your baby while you're playing and doing tummy time. And I'm gonna play it for you. I didn't know this before, but placing your baby on their tummy helps them develop the strength in their back and neck to hold up their own head. You can do this for as young as a few weeks old, but be patient as it takes some time to get used to. Now to start tummy time, we'd put a clean blanket on the floor and then lay our baby down on their back and then gently roll them over onto their tummy. One of our boys would fuss a bit and cry at first, so I would lay down in front of him so he could see my face or I would put a mirror in front of him. They also like me to shake a rattle or, or place a few balls in front of them. And as they got older and stronger, they would start reaching for and playing with these toys. We found ways to make it more fun by doing it together. Or I'd lie on my back and place my baby on my raised legs so she could look down at me. We always brought a blanket when we went for a picnic, so we could practice in the outdoors too, where there were so many things to look at. We taught them all how to roll over by gently rolling them from tummy to back and then back to their tummy again. Of course, we only practice tummy time when we could supervise and, and give them our full attention. And we never put them to bed on their tummy. So that video gives you lots of information about why it's important and how to make it fun for your baby. And just remember to start slow, but increase as much as you can. 
be there with your baby, interact with your baby, make them feel safe and comfortable. This is the first step in development for your baby. Being able to lift your head and get your neck strong and putting weight on your arms and getting your shoulders strong, that's gonna be the first basic stepping stone for all the other milestones, including rolling, sitting up, crawling, and walking. So just remember, this is the best thing you can do for your baby at just starting out, even as early as two to three weeks, to get them on the right track and to get that bond building with them, get down and participate and have a good time and make it fun. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. And I hope that you enjoy, enjoy the tummy time video and enjoy playing with your baby on its tummy and making good eye contact and forming that bond that you need. Thank you so much and have a great day.